Heroes to Restoring Enthusiasm in American History for Kids and Adults, our next guests are helping to lead the way. David Bruce Smith is the founder of the Grateful American Foundation, and he's here to explain how his organization is making learning history fun. He is joined by the director of the Smithsonian National Museum of American History, John Gray. Welcome, guys. I love talking about history, and this is the perfect team to be doing it. So, John, I'm going to start with you. The Smithsonian. We just always call them all the Smithsonian. Tell us what makes your museum special. We really look at American history as a way to understand who we are today. Excellent. Well, that was that was brief. That was great. But we can go to the museum for, for more information. David, the American History Museum, what's your favorite spot in that museum? I think my favorite spot right now is Lincoln's carriage, oh. which he took to Ford's Theater. Oh the night that he was assassinated, and I believe it's on the first floor. Is it on the first floor still? It is on the first floor, and it's a very moving object. Yeah. It's a really a, a wonderful way to reflect about President Lincoln. And especially this time, uh, this 150th anniversary of his assassination, to be that close to history and actually experiencing that that way. John, what's your favorite place in the American History Museum? I think most of the time it is the Star Spangled Banner because that's really how America came together and ultimately created ourselves as a nation. So it's both patriotic and instructive. It's a wonderful exhibition. There are lots of changes at the museum right now. You've had this huge, uh, can I call it a refurbishing, rebuilding? Well, 50% of the buildings closed, been gutted, and mm -hmm. we're putting all new exhibitions in. And the first floor opens up in July. And it's themed around innovation and invention, but it has a major show on American business, places of invention, and all of our educational, for all ages, spaces will be there. Does entrepreneurship play into that exhibit? Because I feel like that's a little bit of what America brings as these small business owners. Do you tell that story in the exhibit? We totally tell that story. And the amazing thing is the cycles of our business or our capitalism really are a struggle for the common good with democracy. So it's all about the American citizens. And that's open now or it'll be opening soon? Ju um, July 1st it opens. July 1st, just in time for the July 4th weekend, That's right? exactly oh, right. Oh, you time things so perfectly. <laughs> David, as we approach July 4th and the July 1st opening of the new exhibit, what do you want Americans to really know about America and really dive back into loving American history? Well, I want them to, I would want them to remember indep that Independence Day is coming up mm -hmm. and how we got there. Yeah. So how did we get there? You you kick us off. Tell us, burn us a little bit of uh, so story. So we used to be uh, a, a colony of um, Britain, and against great odds, uh, we were we because I think there were some incredible people alive, mm -hmm. all at the same time. Um, we were able to become our own country. That's great, that's great. John, tell me, um, you know, when, when people come to Washington, especially during July 4th weekend, you know, I don't want to be anywhere close to the mall because it's, one, it's hot, and there's so many people out there. So when they're coming to Washington for that special time, what do you recommend for how they can come to the Smithsonian and really experience it and, and get past the sea of humanity and, and really hear those stories? Well, the reality is on the inside of a lot of the museums, it's not as crowded as it is on the mall. Mm -hmm. But the fourth is the night of the fireworks. Yeah. And it's a celebration of America that just being in the museums, you can feel that you're celebrating America. It's actually easy to come downtown on the metro. And we're ready. We want a lot of people to understand American history. Yeah. So tell me what else I can come and experience at the American uh, History Museum. Well. Because now we're, go we're seeing the flag, and we're going to see Lincoln's carriage. So what, well, how should I, I spend the I think there are two other things that are actually going back to what you were talking about, which is we have these extraordinary founders, and we have their material that brings them alive, mm -hmm. either an American presidency, first ladies' dresses, our American stories, and by actually seeing objects, Adams, Kane, Jefferson's desk that he wrote the Star Spangled Banner on, um, it really is an amazing experience to understand why we're here. Yeah. It's an extraordinary privilege and a joy. David, with your project, the Grateful Americans Project, where can people get more information and learn these great stories? And hear okay. interviews with folks okay, like John. Okay, so they can go to the site, which is the Grateful American Foundation mm -hmm. dot com, or they can see the 
videos uh, at, at the GratefulAmericanFoundation.com mm -hmm. site as well. And you have an interview with John, I'm hoping. I do. <laughs> Excellent. And so we'll see both of you July 4th weekend at the American History Museum. That's where you're both going to be? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. okay, Thank well, you very much. I'll consider coming down that weekend. Please do. <laughs> and raving through the crowds. Thanks so much, gentlemen. Thank Great. you. Thank you. More Let's Talk Lives coming up. Stick with us right here.